given your massive success in life and in the private sector, why do this? Why consider running for president? Why, why you and why now? Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a great question. And so I'm, I'm seriously considering this. I don't fetishize that particular office. I don't fetishize going into politics. I think there's a lot of ways to drive positive change in this country. But it just so happens, and, and this is the last three years of my life has been a journey, writing a pair of books. I actually wrote three books. Two of them are out. You know, a third one that's coming out soon. I've traveled the country, been to a majority of the states. My net diagnosis is the stuff that I'm complaining about on television. And it is a lot of complaining, identifying the problem, the stuff I've identified as a problem in my books, woke culture, climatism, COVIDism, transgenderism, whatever it is. These are just symptoms of a deeper cancer, which is a loss of national identity. And I just think people my age, people younger than me, really people of every age in this country today, if I'm being honest, are hungry for a cause. They're so hungry for purpose and meaning and identity at a time when the things that used to fill that void of purpose, faith, patriotism, hard work, these things have disappeared. And I think we can do better as a conservative movement, as an American movement, to actually go upstream and fill that black hole, fill that void, fill that void of purpose, that vacuum with the sense of American identity that runs so deep that it actually dilutes the woke agenda to irrelevance, not just doing what even I've been doing for much of the last several years, playing whack-a-mole, taking a hammer to the intellectual cancer on the other side. Let's do better than that. And I think if we can offer an affirmative alternative vision of what it means to be an American in the year 2023, and you ask most people my age, the answer to that question is a blank stare. No, if we can deliver an actual answer to that question, what it means to be an American today, revive those basic principles and rules of the road, and I have detailed thoughts on what those are, then I think we probably aren't some nation that's in an inevitable national decline as we're thought, taught to think, but a nation that just went through some adolescence, some soul searching, and still finds who we are on the other side. And you know, for better or worse, I think I have a clear vision for what the answer to that question should be. I don't think a presidential race should be about the who. I think it should be about the what and the why and the who, the person should just be a vehicle for advancing that agenda. And in this particular case, my vision isn't a 999 plan or a binder for reforming social security. I think the moment calls for somebody who can actually revive a national identity, which means I can't give this to another candidate to run with and to say the slogans that showed up in the books I've written or whatever. I think it has to be somebody who believes deep in their bones, the vision that they're actually advancing. And so that's what has me considering this so seriously because I'm not sure I see that in the field right now. That's a beautiful answer. You know, uh, some people say that a, a law doesn't change people, but a heart change changes people. And that's uh, kind of what I'm hearing is you're helping people see this country differently.